cover the perimeter campuses. Today we are at Kroger in Dunwoody. Particularly, we are in the yogurt aisle. And you'll see how long the yogurt aisle is. There are many, many options when it comes to yogurt. So how do we know if we're choosing the right one? Yogurt makes for a great snack. Um, it's a great source of calcium, vitamin D. It can be a good source of protein depending on which one you choose. And it also contains something you may have heard of called probiotics. So probiotics are basically a healthy bacteria that promote good digestion and good digestive health. So it's a good thing to include in our diet and that's one of the things that makes yogurt such a good option for a snack or even as part of a breakfast. Let's talk about what we want to look for on a label when it comes to yogurt. So I will, I'll use this one as an example. This is actually a new product by YoPlay. It's called YQ. I like the label. It's just nice and clean looking. Um, when we look at the back of a label for yogurt, you want to look at a, um, so you'll see the serving size, one container. So everything on here is pertaining to if I eat this whole thing. Um, and this, by the way, is 5.3 ounces, which is a pretty standard size for most um, cups of yogurt. Um, if we look here, so you'll see sugars. So my sugar content for this cup of yogurt is 9 grams of sugar. It's actually not bad, and I'll show you some comparisons here in a few minutes. My general rule of thumb that I give people is to try to stay under 10 to 12 grams of sugar per serving. Once you go over that, it really does become a higher sugar product. So there are enough options, and we'll discuss those, that you can stay under that and still get a pretty good tasting yogurt. You'll also see, one thing I really like about this, so you get 15 grams of protein um, in a serving of yogurt, which is actually really, really good. Um, so you got 15 grams of protein, you got nine grams of sugar, and this is peach flavored, so they have many different flavors. So I like that one. But let's use a comparison. So this is a brand that um, many people are familiar with. This is called Nusa. So Nusa, one thing I want to point out before we compare is that the serving sizes are different. This contains 8 ounces. This contains 5.3 ounces. So we are not necessarily comparing apples to oranges, but let's just look at the label. So when we look at Nusa, you'll see for one cup, so this is 290 calories for this container versus this is 130 calories so that's a, a big difference let's look at that sugar content again so this Nusa has 28 grams of sugar for this cup of yogurt once again as a reminder so the recommendation for someone following a 2,000 calorie diet is to stay under 50 grams of added sugar per day so 28 grams of sugar actually is quite high compared with 9 grams so just something to keep in mind um, if you look at the protein content, so this is actually less protein than this one. This has 13 grams of protein, and this has 15 grams of protein. So, as you can see in the yogurt aisle, there's a wide range in terms of how much sugar these contain, um, as well as other nutrients. So this is Oikos Triple Zero. You may be familiar with this just from seeing the commercials, seeing it on TV. So Oikos Triple Zero is made by Dannon. And you'll notice, remember that first place we want to look is usually sugar. This only has six grams of sugar. That's not bad at all. Um, this also contains 15 grams of protein. So, so that's actually pretty good. And just to put that in perspective, what does 15 grams of protein look like? So 15 grams of protein is gonna be equivalent to just under two ounces of chicken breast. So when you think about chicken breast, um, 15 grams of protein would be equal to two eggs. So, you know, just so you can kind of get a scheme of what is 15 grams of protein, what does that mean to us? So that's actually a very decent source of protein. Would make for a great part of a breakfast or a great midday snack. Another one that I really like is uh, actually made by Kroger. So it's called the Kroger Blended. And this is a Greek yogurt as well. This also has six grams of sugar and 15 grams of protein. So this is actually very similar to the Oikos Triple Zero. The other thing also to be aware of is how are they sweetened? So 
usually when you take the sugar out of something, you gotta replace it with something else to make it sweet, otherwise it's probably not gonna taste that good. Um, so you can use artificial sweeteners, which a lot of them do, but what I like about this one and what I like about the Oikos Triple Zero is um, it uses natural sweeteners. So you have your chicory root fiber, which is actually a, um, which is actually a way that some yogurt companies will sweeten, as well as stevia leaf. So stevia leaf is actually just like it sounds, it's a leaf and it's a natural sweetener, but you don't have the aspartame or the sucralose or a lot of the artificial sweeteners that people try to limit in their diet. So, um, so this is a good option.